dream of harnessing free energy of scientists and inventors for centuries. Among the trailblazers in this field was Nikola Tesla, whose groundbreaking work continues to inspire individuals searching for a way to break free from the limitations of conventional energy sources. One of the pivotal concepts in Tesla's work was back electromotive force, back EMF, a term that has taken on various interpretations and applications over the years. This video will explore the intriguing possibilities of back EMF and how it can be harnessed to generate free energy. Back EMF, the enigmatic force. The heart of Tesla's revolutionary, I Tesla's revolutionary ideas lay the concept of electromagnetic feedback. Tesla believed that an ordinary energy system, which typically consists of a generator and a motor, could be significantly enhanced through the incorporation of an electric current feedback in the electrical circuit. Central to this concept is counter-electromotive force, CEMF, also known as back electromotive force, back EMF, which is the voltage that opposes changes in electric current, induced by magnetic interactions. Back EMF can be understood from two angles, as a reverse electromotive force or as a reverse electromagnetic field. The distinction arises from the historical context surrounding its development. Following the dismissal of ether physics by Einstein in the failure of the Michelson-Morley experiment to confirm the existence of ether, the science of electricity underwent revision, leading to the evolution of the concept of back EMF. Types of back EMF Back EMF is not a singular phenomenon but manifests in various forms. 1 slash primitive back EMF, this is seen when a square pulse is applied to a coil. It serves as the foundation for more advanced applications. 2 slash back EMF from generators and induction motors, these devices generate back EMF during operation, and harnessing this can be a source of free energy. 3 slash back EMF from transformers, transformers, which are integral to power distribution, also generate back EMF that can be tapped into for energy. 4 slash back EMF in circuit breakers, even the operation of circuit breakers in the stressed ether can generate back EMF, presenting yet another avenue for energy capture. Harnessing back EMF for free energy. The allure of back EMF lies in its potential to generate free energy, unlocking new possibilities for sustainability. This can be achieved through several means. 1 slash generating radiant energy, back EMF can be transformed into radiant energy, a source of seemingly boundless power that Tesla himself explored. 2 slash free energy transformers, with the right setup, back EMF can be harnessed and transformed into usable electrical energy, potentially providing power at no cost. 3 slash utilizing back EMF in alternators, back EMF from alternators can be fed back into the induction motor, creating a self-sustaining system that produces free energy. The Easy DIY Power Plan, a gateway to free energy. The Easy DIY Power Plan represents an opportunity for individuals to experiment with and harness the power of back EMF. This plan offers step-by-step -step instructions, guiding users in designing self-powered generators based on Tesla's principles. These generators have been further enhanced by Tesla's free energy technology experts, making them more accessible and efficient. In the quest for free energy, back EMF stands as a fascinating and potentially game-changing concept. Whether it is viewed as a reverse electromotive force or a reverse electromagnetic field, its applications are rich and varied. Tesla's insights into the power of electromagnetic feedback continue to inspire innovations and experiments that may one day lead to a more sustainable and energy-abundant future. The Easy DIY Power Plan is just one example of how back EMF is being harnessed to shape this vision of tomorrow. While the concept of free energy remains a contentious one, it is undeniably an idea worth exploring and understanding further, but the potential benefits it could bring to humanity on measure. Following footsteps, on July 5, 1995, Floyd Sweet suffered a fatal heart attack at the age of 83. A couple of weeks before his death, Sweet said that the automotive industry was testing his power his power unit for use in cars, and that they had a unit running for 5,000 hours. He said he was dealing with people at General Motors, but no one has been able to confirm Sweet's claims. The VTA itself is bogged down in legal problems. But Tom Bearden, who put much of his own time and money into the project, hopes that the VTA can be resurrected so that the world will realize what a pioneer Floyd Sweet was. And despite the confusion surrounding Sweet's affairs at the time of his death, other researchers are continuing this line of research. Confusion and secrecy. The automotive industry may not have been the only potential investor that Sweet was dealing with.
At the time of his death, there was some confusion concerning the rights to Sweet's hardware and papers, held by Sweet's second wife, Violet. Bearden says that Sweet signed a number of agreements with a number of backers, and that some of these people have claimed rights to the invention. At least two of these investors say they want Sweet's laboratory equipment, inventions, and technical papers to go into A.P. Ropost Floyd Sweet Museum so that other researchers could study the technology. Walter Rosenthal is trying to help all parties work towards an agreement. Despite Bearden's urging, Sweet never had the VTA certified by independent testing. He feared that his life would be snuffed out immediately if he even attempted such a thing, Bearden says.